Hello everyone, welcome to a foreigner farming in the Philippines. You know, the fish are eating, this is their uh, midday. It's uh, getting close to lunchtime. I'm a little, feeding them a little bit early. Uh, I fed them right after uh, the live stream this morning, a little bit. And uh, fed them some more now. They're just not. They're just not hitting the feed like I would have thought we would have. Like I would have thought that uh, 15,000 fish would be eating. Either we've got a much. Low, I'm just thinking we've got a much lower biomass in this pond than what I had thought. Because I just don't see the numbers hitting that feed ever. That. I think should be. I don't know. The only thing that I can think is that many more died in the first day or two, but that they sank instead of floated. Now we took out over 700 floaters uh, in that first uh, in that first day, day and a half or so. But maybe, well, I don't know, if there was a bunch that had died and remained at the bottom, just sank, uh, I'm thinking that would have rolled the water and it would have, uh, they would have all died if there were a lot of them in there. But again, I know how many we moved in here, because most of them were counted. Uh, they were counted that first day, and just a, a educated guess the second. I know there was right around 15,000 fingerlings that were moved into this little mini pond here and I'm just not seeing the I'm not seeing the the feed consumption that I would think that many you know I guess I what I need to do is a firm uh, biomass calculation uh, using some real numbers. I mean, I can see the fish out in there, those little dark shapes. And they are feeding, but man, nothing like what I would expect. Uh, the numbers of fish. I mean, they've been eating about seven kilos of feed a day, eight sometimes if I fill the bucket a little full. Uh, I'm going to do, and, and again, that's not, that eight kilos doesn't disappear that quick. I mean, I finished throwing the feed in like five minutes ago, and three-fourths of it is still out there. So they're not eating it quickly. They're eating it. It gets eaten but it's not that feeding frenzy that I'm used to. So I'm going to do some uh, firm calculations to see if I can get a little bit better idea of the biomass that's left in here. But anyway, uh, I'm going to... I'm pretty sure this dam isn't leaking. I'm almost positive of it. But what I want to do... I'm going to go up and grab a shovel now I don't know if we're if we're already too low here on this end for it to work, but I'm gonna I'm gonna dig a channel uh, from the edge here. If I can see through the monitor, from the edge of the water through that grass uh, back to that opening in the dam there, and see if I can drain some of this water out because the. I want it all covered with grass. At some point we're going to finish the dam on this and stock it with fish. And uh, the goal is to have a a bed of grass in it uh, when it's stocked. So we can avoid having to put uh, a bunch in it so that they have something to eat uh, quickly. They eat the grass and uh, the moss attaches to it 
uh, as it grows so it's kind of like a feed bank so uh, all this area here that's just water uh, I would like to see like it was before we used it all for the mud for this um, I'd like to see a, a bed of grass in there and we're probably going to have to uh, use some of that for fill for that for the next dam. Now we do have a lot of dirt here on the sides. All the dirt on this side needs to be used to build up you know, the bank along the road here. But all along this edge here this all needs to be cut out and you can see the edge of the pond here and then there's a there's a 25 or 30 foot little bank there that's three feet wide and you know I don't know three or four feet deep five feet deep that needs to be taken out and that's the, the majority of this here even though we're gonna have to move it uh, the majority of this dirt is what we're going to use on that next dam there because uh, this need, this just needs to be white and we need to put this dirt somewhere and this is a natural bank here so it's we don't need to throw it to the right we just need to get it out and what better place to use it than on that dam so I'm gonna go ahead and fetch my shovel do a little shoveling see if I can get this water to drain do some calculations on these fish I mean, I don't think the bird could have gotten that many. Something's up. Uh, something is up. There's, there can't be the amount of biomass in there, or the number of fish that I had uh, initially thought. Uh, the dogs haven't been fishing. They're fishing right now for feed. I, I would, I would think that if the if the fish that we put in there died and sank to the bottom, it would have made a cascading, uh, it would have ruined the water really quick and they all would have died. So I don't think that was it. Um, and I don't think, you know, and I haven't seen, since we've deepened it, uh, since we fixed this dam and added more water, I haven't seen any uh, piles of bird poo along the side because I'm almost certain it's too deep for now now for that bird to wade around out and wade around out in there and catch fish. So he hasn't been sitting on the bank here uh, thinking about life. I mean, I do see that feather floating around out in there. Uh, something else we're going to do today is install the lights. Uh, we've got them made. Uh, just need to put a pole out there in the middle with a light. I'm going to put one here and back in the old main pond. Uh, I don't know how much of a detriment a light would be to the birds, uh, but it would definitely be a, a, de a detriment to the, uh, the two-legged birds. Let's put it that way. Uh, you know, these fish were, I don't think they're big enough to steal. But I, again, I didn't think the shrimp were big enough to steal. Um, there's hungry folks around and uh, this all needs it all needs security lighting even with all these dogs you know uh, this is we're getting a little bit of way, ways away from the house now so I don't know do a little digging put some lights in that's the plan today for the tilapia thank you everyone please like comment share and subscribe.